Climbing in the big mountains means inevitably you're gonna be traveling across snow and ice, even in the summertime. I'm here in Estes Park, Colorado with Rainbow Weinstock. You're a mountain guide for Colorado Mountain School. And you're gonna show me how to use some pretty important tools, crampons and an ice ax. Now, these things look a little sharp and scary. How do I use them safely? Great, Nick. Well, here we've got an ice ax and we've got sharp points on all three sides of it. You wanna okay. watch out for those, okay. not nail your buddy in the ribs. <laughs> okay. You just wanna hold it on the top Okay. And walk along with it off to your side. Great. That looks pretty easy. So I'm gripping on the top. I don't want to hold it on the shaft like I'm going to yeah, chop wood. Yeah. Okay, good. So I'm going to put it here and walk across this easy slope. Now, what do we do when it gets a little steeper? That's a good question. Let's cruise on over here and check that out. Well, Rainbow, this looks like a steeper slope here. Yeah, it is a little steeper. We're going to want to utilize our ice axe a little bit more. Okay, so how does it work on steep stuff like this? Okay, so we've got our ice axe and we're going to hold it out in front of us okay. and we're going to dive the shaft straight down into the snow. Okay. That way it'll hold us in case we slip. Okay, it creates a little bit of an anchor. Yeah. Great. So, uh, so how does the technique work? So you leave it up there above you, move up a step, and then keep bringing it higher. So something like this. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'd keep that ice axe a little bit higher. Out here. Great. Now, the footing seems a little slippery. What about using crampons? That's a good consideration. We've got a spot up there that we can use our crampons a bit more. So, Rainbow, crampons aren't exactly soccer cleats. These things look pretty sharp. Yeah, you've got 10 points of doom here. They sort of want to catch on your pant leg or catch on your boots. So, how do you walk in these things safely? Well, you want to take your time walking flat-footed and bow-legged, kind of like a cowboy. Okay, so a little bit like this. That looks pretty good. You want to take your time and make sure that you're not getting the edge, but instead getting all points contacting on the surface. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. Excellent. Okay. Let's go practice some of those skills. All right, let's go. 